Video equipment rental costs paid for by peep code screencasts. All right, so this is another lightning talk. 10 minutes to go over Ruby and virtual team. So a uh, cool thing about our community, our group, is a lot of us are freelancers. We're, and a lot of us aren't in inter enterprise, so we got to rely on a lot of different tools to uh, be able to communicate distributedly, if that's a word. Um, so uh, without further ado, um, I am not Win Netherland. And I wanted a cool graphic, so uh, so we uh, we put this deal in. Okay. <laughs> ah, so my name's Jim Mulholland. I'm uh, with a small company called Squeegee. Out of uh, I'm out of Houston. We're kind of distributed all across Texas. We have one guy in China um, who's coming back next month, or I guess this month, hopefully. Uh, clients in uh, Louisiana, Arizona. Uh, Austin, Dallas, so we're obviously distributed. So um, who's doing this? Obviously what we're doing, code commuters, project managers, designers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so priority number one, you need to talk to people. Uh, can you hear me now? Um, so first thing um, to do that, we, uh, we use a lot is a tool called freeconferencecall.com. Completely free, no idea how they do this, what their business model is, but uh, they give you a phone number and uh, it, you get to keep this phone number, you call in, you get a uh, access code. We use that for our morning scrums. We have a scrum every day, every morning at 8.30. Um, we all call in, discuss, and then we also use the same conference call number for all of our clients. Um, and we've had the same number for a year and a half or so, so it's been very nice to use and doesn't cost us any money. Again, no idea what the business model is. I think it's something hokey about their making money from the government for using you know, some lines or something, but not important. <laughs> um, secondly, um, so the, one of the problems with free conference call is that it's a long distance number, so it's like our number is a 616. So unless you have uh, unlimited long distance or you have a ton of minutes on your cell phone or you have voice over IP like I do, um, you would use something like a Skype. So um, actually our guy in China uses Skype, a few other, other guys in here uses Skype makes it easy to call that conference call every morning and any other meetings that we have. Um, make sure that you uh, have plenty of money in your Skype account because one of our guys got dropped off because he ran out of funds. That's actually the guy in China. All of a sudden he dropped, he had no money. So uh, FYI. Um, communication. So, quote made famous by Guns N' Roses from the movie uh, Cool Hand Luke. You guys may know it. What we got here is Failure to da, 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 da. <laughs> So anyway, that's <laughs> all about communication. So for uh, for main communication, we use email, like most people do. We personally use uh, Gmail for your domain. Uh, very easy to set up. We got a, our own squeegee.com domain email address. Again, free. Um, set up a few clients with it. You can use a Gmail interface, which is, I think, better than most client interfaces for email nowadays. Uh, so, great for asynchronous messaging, like we've used and used it for years. Not so great for real-time communication. For that, we've been using Campfire, which is 37 signals. Um, we have a Campfire for each client. Um, so we just hang out with tons of Campfires on our uh, desktop at any one time, just to do uh, real-time chat, to answer questions that a client may have, or just to discuss development, etc. Um, other tools, I am. We still use I am. Uh, Google, Google Talk, MSN Messenger, that kind of stuff. We just want to do some offline. Hey, what's going on? Type of chat. IRC, uh, popular for open source. Uh, conferences like this, there's an IRC channel for this. Um, not so good for the non geek crowd. You just need some somewhat special setup and somewhat confusing. But other options. Uh, project management. I love deadlines, especially I like the swooshing sound they make as they fly past. Unknown author. <laughs> so for project management, we use Redmine. Uh, Greg Pollock actually mentioned it earlier. We've been using it for about a year and a half and uh, really enjoy it. Pretty active community. Um, jean Philippe Blang is the main developer. He's a madman in terms of code. That guy's busting out code constantly, so there's always new features coming on. Um, but uh, we've had really good luck with it. It's uh, 
allows you to do all of our issue tracking, release management, uh, uh, integrates with Git and subverts it pretty well. And then wikis and forms, document management, all kinds of other goodies. Um, so we've had good luck with that. We also like to use Basecamp quite a bit. Um, it's actually more of a client choice. A lot of clients use Basecamp for messaging um, and other uh, file management, that kind of thing. It's uh, popular. Um, track was mentioned earlier. It's uh, the Python open source. It's kind of the de facto open source uh, project management tool still. Um, we've tried it a couple times, but uh, haven't in a while. Lighthouse is uh, kind of a, a new kid on the block. It's been around for about a year. Um, remember actually talking to Rick Olson about it this time last year at this conference, but uh, he developed Lighthouse. It has integration with Git. Um, a lot of people, uh, Rails is on Lighthouse now. A lot of other uh, people are using Lighthouse. Unfuddle is very similar to Lighthouse issue tracking. Uh, we used that before we moved over to Redmine. Uh, also, uh, Lighthouse and Unfuddle are both hosted apps with a free account, but um, yeah, the more you use it, the more you pay, that kind of a deal. Uh, sharing your work. I thought this was kind of a funny quote. People say New Yorkers can't get along. Not true. I saw two New Yorkers, complete strangers, sharing a cab. One guy took the tires the other and the radio. The other guy took the engine. <laughs> David Letterman. So uh, first thing in sharing is GitHub. It's been great getting GitHub both. But uh, we converted to GitHub, or Git, probably back in February as far as that beta and GitHub. Um, just makes uh, source control and, um, and just um, sharing ideas and code with the, the team very easy and straightforward. Other tools, uh, obviously Subversion is still around, so you wouldn't know what to talk to most people around here. Um, <laughs> and Google Docs is actually, we still use Google Docs um, quite a bit. Uh, actually, the original version of this presentation was in a bar camp Houston a couple weeks ago, and Wynn and I actually both uh, use the presentation of Google Docs just to go back and forth and create this presentation, so it turned out to be pretty useful. Um, tracking time. If you're here and I'm here, isn't it really our time? <laughs> you guys remember any last time at Ridgemont High? One or two people? Uh, anyone that's just <laughs> Uh We actually use a tool. We, we tried tons of tools. We ended up developing our own. <laughs> so this is actually us. Uh, <laughs> take start. Um, but it's just tracking time, reporting, reporting time, training, charts, graphs, that kind of thing. Um, calculates invoice and payroll. Um, and Okay, um, how many seconds? Oh, that says I got on minute seven here, anyway. <laughs> we actually use QuickBooks Online, but I couldn't do a screenshot because you can only use it on a uh, Windows machine, so we have a special machine that uses QuickBooks to do our invoices and stuff. Um, FreshBooks, Harvest, Cashboard, all uh, cool featured apps, and then Slim Timer, Toggle, or other timer apps that we've uh, tried in the past. And last slide, actually, is also consider um, if you have an Asian guy on your team that wants to go find his roots in China for four months, make sure he works in your time zone. Because <laughs> that's what we did. It's actually worked out good other than uh, his slept, uh, sleep depravity. And, and I think the haze is getting to him. And he's starting to get lots of headaches and stuff. But he's still working on our time. And it's actually working out really good. And uh, that is it. There's all of the resources. And that's me. <laughs>